This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video was done on day two of the stripping of the BMW engine. So for this video we're going to be discussing preparation on what I did to get the BMW onto the ramps as well as what did I strip for that day which I think was just the covers because it was already late afternoon. So I was thinking how am I going to block the ramps so I decided I'm going to put two bolts in front of the ramps to try and block it from shooting out under the car to kind of, you know, keep it in place. So uh, this is where we're going to put the car. We're going to put it here on top of the ramps and it's going to stay there until the engine is back together. So let's see what happens for the day. At this point I got the BMW in place and uh, I'm going to move it now closer to the ramps. To make sure that I put the ramps in the correct place and then I'm going to see if I can secure the ramps before I put the car on top. So this was my idea for keeping the ramps from spinning up. Drill two holes, put these nice long screws in in front of them and I'm sure unless it bends out this ramp is not going to be pushed out this way at all. And this is where my first challenge came in. The ground is not level. So the, the left front point of the car is too low or lower than the other side. So I decided to put a plank to see if I can help the bumper not to catch on these round bars. Um, I knew it was going to touch it or touch the ramp but I just wanted it to be sliding over the ramp much more evenly. The plank was bending a bit too much, so I put a brick underneath it for a bit of support and unfortunately the plank broke. Well, since I've never done this kind of thing before, this was a really a good learning curve. Um, I think the way to get the car off the ramps when I'm done is going to be removing the entire front bumper to make sure it's not going to catch because I promise you the car is not going to get down as it, as it is standing now and you'll see why. So, as the ground is uneven, the right hand side is already on the ramp, but the left hand side is spinning, there's no traction because of the back wheel that's actually lifted off the ground. This is where I got my first damage. As I came up, you see the bumper hooking onto the round bar, it actually ripped this black piece of mudguard thing loose. It pushed it underneath the wheel and the car started driving over the inner plastic or whatever you want to call it. It's just like a wheel arch piece of plastic that keeps your wheel arch closed. Yeah, I broke that whole thing into pieces. And that also caused the ramp to move, as you guys saw just now. Guys, well, it's on the ramp. It's as level as I am going to get it because as you guys can see at the end. The reason why I pushed the ramp forward was because of this. This wheel arch cover came loose, it got hooked behind this round bar and the wheel actually stepped on it and ripped the whole bloody thing loose. Uh, I'm gonna have to see how am I going to paste and fix this thing while the car is up here to make sure that it's kind of um, secure. But the car is on, it's not going anywhere. These ramps isn't going anywhere. I've got my bricks at the back, I've got the guarded in park, I've got the handbrake up. This side lifted up at the back of the tip because I was already against um, the tip, so I was actually uh, pushing the ramp up from the back. So I did reverse it a little bit. But yeah, this car is as high as I can get it, which is nice because I've got nice clearance. I'll be able to do whatever I need to do. Unfortunately, it's not as level as the Opel Corsa was, but it's fine. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna do what I can with it at this height. 
<laughs> I mean, there's, there's nothing else I can do. So here it is, standing on the ramps, and it's gonna remain here for the rest of the time until the engine is back together. So this is now the height of the car when it's standing in front of me. And believe it or not, I have to actually get a step ladder to get into certain places that I was busy stripping. So uh, this is a massive strip job, but it's not gonna be a, a quick one. Well, it's time to begin the job. So we're going to start off by stripping all the covers that is concealing the engine. Okay guys, here we go with some good old fashioned time lapse. Hyper speed stripping. Okay, so we started off by stripping off the front cover and then loosening the fan cowling. Secondly, I started to remove all the covers for the cabin filter, air filter. Now, unfortunately, you have to remove all these covers just so that you can get to the bolts that hold this top cover in place. Now at least we can start loosening all the bolts on the top cover and they're all basically allen key bolts. Now to remove the fan cowling, you have to actually remove the fan with it, otherwise it doesn't come off. Next up is removing the rest of the covers at the back, which will expose your, uh, your air fan, as well as I have to take it off to get to the plastic cover that's on top of the engine that, will, that covers up your, your electrical wiring. Okay guys, this is the point of no return. If I'm gonna start stripping off this air intake and the air filter, that's it. Then we keep going until we get to the pistons. And I am very, I'm scared about this. This is very uh, intimidating. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna have to take pictures of each and every step make sure I can put this thing back together and uh, just go slow and easy so the last thing that I stripped for the day was the air filter I actually took the air filter out I actually didn't know where the air filter was sitting so I was quite surprised to actually find it here so um, that's it that's all the things that I've stripped for the day that's where I ended my day taking out the air filter and yeah, you'll see now how dirty that filter is. So anyway guys, um, listen, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell icon to get notified of the next upload in the series. Because next time, we are going to strip off the air intake manifold. So anyway, whatever you're doing guys, remember, keep it safe. And until next time. Cheers.
Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers